In 1939, the Heinkel 178, an experimental aircraft, became the first in the world to fly using the thrust of a turbojet engine, prompting German designers to compete in creating the first advanced jet fighter. Heinkel later worked on the E-280, while Messerschmitt developed the famous Mi-262. Meanwhile, in March 1943, Fokker Wolf also initiated a series of studies for its own single-seat jet fighter, codenamed Flitzer. The Flitzer was equipped with a single HES 11A turbojet with mid-mounted wings angled at 32 degrees. To improve climb rate, a Walter 8WK509 rocket was also designed to be mounted beneath the jet, providing additional thrust during takeoff. Its design bore a marked resemblance to the contemporary de Havilland Vampire, with air intakes positioned on either side of the fuselage at the wing route where the wings attach to the body. The intended armament included two 30mm MK103 or MK108 cannons in the lower forward section, along with two 20mm MG15120 cannons in the wings. Additionally, the pilot had a ZFR-4A telescopic sight to aid targeting. It was in an advanced stage of development, with a full-scale model completed. However, the project was eventually abandoned, as despite using a single turbojet, its performance did not surpass that of the Mi-262, which was nearing service entry. The Flitzer represents an intriguing chapter in the history of World War II jet fighters. Despite its innovative technical features, the project failed to surpass the competition of the ME-262, which proved to be more capable and combat-ready.